All right, this is the Real Sports Rundown, and uh, you got to ask yourself a question, man. If somebody dared you to run onto a playing field, whether it was football, baseball, basketball, any of that stuff, would you actually do it? I know a few of my friends that might actually do it, but after what transpired, well, 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 let's roll the intro, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. So this is going to be a very interesting start to the Real Sports Rundown. Roll it. Okay, first things first, we got to get down to the nitty gritty about this thing, man. Okay, if you haven't seen it already, I didn't even see it last night. I didn't see it until this afternoon or this morning. But at a Philadelphia Phillies game when they were playing the Cardinals, a kid that's about to go to Penn State, he's 17 years old, decided to call his dad, talk him up, say, hey, man, I'm thinking about running onto the field. What do you think I should do? And dad's like, it's probably not a good idea, okay, especially nowadays. Not the best idea to do these stupid kind of things. But the son's like, you know what, let's get my 15 minutes. Let's do it anyway. So he jumps out onto the field, and I'm going to show you the video here right now if you're looking at this. The kid runs out onto the field. He's dodging. He's weaving. And then next thing you know, bam, he gets hit with a taser. That's right. This kid got tased. All right. The officer is running while the kid's bobbing and weaving was managed to get out his taser, follow him around, and shoot him perfectly. And if you saw in the video, that kid just went bloop just fell right on his face and I mean I'm sorry I think that's a little funny okay now people are asking oh you know is this right is this right should they have tased him should they have tased him hell yeah they should have tased him okay the kid jumped out onto the field there's somebody I could think about you know that I know that might possibly do something like that maybe and uh, let's put it this way he's related to me you've seen him on the show a few times he's somebody that I could see running out onto the field now I'll have to get him on the show one day and ask him, you know, how would you would you expect to get tased if you ran onto a field? I mean, you have to look at that what, that way. A player's going to tackle you. Somebody's going to beat the crap out of you. I mean, what happened with the Kansas City Royals uh, first base coach when the two guys jumped over, started beating the crap out of him, trying to cut him with a knife, I believe, if is what happened, started kicking him and everything. I mean, nowadays, man, you don't know what they're going to do. Now I understand the kid was just being goofy. Woo, woo, woo. You don't know, man. You really don't know. You got to expect that when you get out on that field, you're going to get tased. Something's going to happen to you. So you can't just jump out onto the field expecting nothing to happen. So if you have a problem with this kid getting tased, you are a moron and deserve to get tased yourself, okay, right in the private area where it's going to hurt. Or if you've seen the hangover, in the face. <laughs> so yeah, that's right. If you got a problem with it, I'll tase your ass. Let's just put it that way. All right, man, now we got to get into it, man. It is boxing talk, man. It's been a while since we talked about boxing. Mayweather versus Mosley, man. Another fight I really didn't really care about, but buddies of mine wanted me to watch it anyway, so I decided to watch it. First two rounds, I got a little excited. I was thinking, all right, Mosley's coming out, man. He's fighting. He's throwing some punches. Mayweather got stunned a couple times. And then guess what happened? And then it got to the same old, same old boring Mayweather hitting him with a couple things, got a couple rounds under his belt, and then next thing you know, it's turned into a boring fight, unanimous decision, you know, that Mayweather was going to win, blah, 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 blah. Once again, nobody, well, I mean, obviously people care about that fight. Me, myself, personally, don't care about the fight because of the fact that, well, it's not Mayweather-Pacquiao, okay? Now, they're saying that Pacquiao has uh, changed his mind and said he'll take a blood test 14 days before the fight. Once again, I'm going to stick by my statement. Mayweather is scared of Pacquiao. Even after the fight, he wouldn't even say his damn name. Are you kidding me with that, man? He wouldn't even say his name, as I'm getting a text there on the phone. But, I mean, that's just sad and pathetic, okay? Mayweather, man up, grow some huevos. You know, if you call yourself Money Mayweather, you're going to make like $40 million on this fight, man. Pacquiao's agreeing to do a different kind of drug test 14 days before the fight. Just accept it, fight him, let him knock you the mm out, and then we can all be happy with it, especially me, because that's the fight I want to see. I'm tired of hearing you run your mouth, because Mayweather, you're nothing but a little pretty boy puss, okay, that is afraid of a little tiny guy with some little hurricane fist that's going to beat your ass, all right? So, man up and fight Pacquiao, man. Stop delaying it, man. Stop avoiding it, okay? Sooner or later, he's coming for you. 
All right, NBA playoffs underway, man. Celtics and Cavs tied up at one. Uh, that's going to be a two. I mean, that game, that series might go seven games, man. Say what you want about the Celtics. They might be old, but uh, they're vets as well, man. They know how to get it done. Uh, the Spurs lost to the Suns the other night, man, and Steve Nash went off, okay? I mean, Steve Nash showed us why he's a two-time MVP. And basically, they put a beat down on the Spurs, man. That I mean, that was just unbelievable, man. I'm telling you, Suns and Spurs, another heated rivalry. One thing I did not know, they faced each other 10 times in the playoffs the last 19 years. The most of any two teams to face each other over the last two decades. So, I mean, that's I mean that's a rivalry right there. I mean, you cannot deny that. That's going to be a great series. Uh, who's going to win it? Truth be man, I don't even know, man. It could be the Spurs. It could be the Suns, man. They're both equally good, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Lakers and Jazz knotted up at one. That series is going to go back and forth. Lakers will probably prevail out of that one. And then the Hawks beat the Bucks. Now, if you haven't seen this, go look it up online. That two deer come into a bar, and yeah, everybody's saying that's the start of a joke. But no, apparently during the Bucks game, these two deer ran through a glass door at a restaurant, and these uh, employees had to wrestle them down, man. Hilarious. Go find that video. All right, man, new segment of the show is towards the end here. It's called The Final Rundown, all right? It's going to be the final rundown of the show. Quickly going through this, man, NFL draft. Tim Tebow drafted 25th by the Broncos. That's a head-scratcher. Jimmy Clausen went to the Panthers in the second round. McCoy dropped all the way to the third round and uh, was drafted by the Browns. And these guys going to play? Probably not. Uh, Clausen has the best chance to play right now. He probably had, He probably benefited the most from dropping all the way to the second round. And also, Des Bryant went to the Dallas Cowboys, and uh, that's going to be a steal. But the fact, uh, is he going to help out the Cowboys? Well, apparently Jerry Jones thinks so, man. They think he's the next Randy Moss, and Jones is making up for passing on Randy Moss all those years ago when he fell to Minnesota. And also, uh, LeBron James wins the MVP, who, you know, to me, that's... He deserved to win the MVP, I would say, but Kevin Durant... I think is the most valuable player in the league this year, man. The kid went off, man. You cannot deny that. Just because it's only his third year, you can't deny him an MVP, man. Give him the MVP. But I guarantee in the next few years, he's going to win a few. It's going to be between him and LeBron, more than likely. But Kevin Durant, man, that kid's unbelievable, so watch out for him. Uh, Danny Del Negro fired by the Chicago Bulls, man. I mean, that's just stupid. I mean, just because you're not getting along, the GM needs to be fired. Paxson needs to get out. All right, Del Negro did a great job with the Bulls getting them to the playoffs. And, of course, yes, I know it's the East. The East sucks. You know what I mean? But, you know, Del Negro out. So, somebody who's going to go over to Chicago? Who knows? Uh, Jason Campbell, man, uh, was with the Washington Redskins. They Redskins traded for McNabb like we talked about a few weeks ago. And now Campbell shipped off to Oakland. So, now what happens to Jamarcus Russell? We're going to have to wait and see about that one. Not really exactly sure. But uh, there rumors are Russell might go. But Russell did come to minicamp. They say he's in shape. So, now all of a sudden he's motivated because his starting job might be on the line. Chris Bosh decided to tweet. He's a free agent for the Toronto Raptors. Decided to tweet. Fans... What should I do? Should I stay or should I go? Now, he's getting a lot of slack for this, saying, why are you asking all your followers on, you know, the tweeting or Twitters or twit, twit, twat, twit, swan, whatever. I mean, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, uh, you know, he's tweeting about all kinds of stuff here. So, you know, is that a smart thing? Hey, man, in this day and age, it's all about Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, all that stuff, man. So, And speaking of which, okay, one thing I want to mention, uh, the Real Sports Rundown does have a fan page on Facebook. So if you want to find it, man, search Real Sports Rundown on your Facebook page. Man, become a fan, man. It's a lot easier. I mean, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can still become a fan on Facebook, man. Get the updates then as well and everything else that goes on along with the show. Once I get some time, I'll be updating the, the site and everything else. And also the uh, singer, Stephanie Carback, the one that does my... My intro theme right here. She has an album coming out pretty soon, sometime in August. She's been working on an album, putting one together. I'll have some information as it comes along. But uh, her name is Steffi Lee. You know, that's her singer name. So if you want to look her up on her MySpace or even her YouTube account, just look up Steffi Lee and uh, find out and listen to some of the music that she does, man. Really talented singer, man. So album coming out soon, so I'll be helping around with that. So give it a listen, guys, man. She's really talented, so... Well, that's going to do it for the Real Sports Rundown today, man. As you notice, man, i got my baseball gear on. And uh, you know what? I'm thinking about running onto the field here. So, uh, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to go run to the field. And I might get tased, but I'm not scared, man. So, uh, that's the Real Sports Rundown. I'll see you guys. Time to go on the field. Out there, I'm tased. Welcome to the show where there's so much to be gained, get ready to be educated and entertained. When it comes to sports, there's no fooling around, here's Ryan with his real sports. <laughs> 